Good evening. Good evening, and welcome to Beware of Spoilers. I am Adam. <sighs> well, let me preface this with saying that I am not... Wow, that is loud. Not the biggest fan of the original... Um, what's the movie? Uh, Hocus Pocus. I did not watch it as a kid. Um, therefore, it does not have the same impact on me that people who watched it as a kid have. Um, so I don't have the inherent nostalgia going into this. I'm not saying that I'm better or worse than anyone who has that nostalgia, but I do know that there are a good amount of movies that I saw as a kid that objectively now I can say are not great, but that doesn't change the fact that I still do have a deep-seated love for them all these years later. Um, and it's important to note that because I feel like if you like Hocus Pocus, you will probably like Hocus Pocus too. Because when I, from what I've been told from people um, is that it works for some people but not for others. Now, the point of this being the movie didn't work at all for me. Uh, I did not find the movie fun did not find it funny, did not find it entertaining, um, I mean, look, here's my problem, is the plot's kind of nonsensical, um, and, and Disney's continuing to do this thing where they try to create legacy content based on established characters that are usually villains, like, they're trying to really emphasize the villain aspect, because the Disney villains do have a pretty sizable footprint, um, in the fan base, like, they're building a park in Magic Kingdom, according to what they said at D23. They're considering building a park at the Magic Kingdom that's just about the villains, which is a fantastic idea. Um, the Twisted Tale series, which I've been a fan of, takes the, 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 the stories you know and twists it so that way the hero, the hero loses and then the villain has and then they have to come back and win in a, a different way. Um, the Aladdin one's great. The... Um, the Snow White one's great. The I, I, I think it was the, the, the Mulan one I really liked. But, you know, that kind of stuff worked. More mainstream stuff, though, they're not getting deep into the what it, like, what it means to be a villain in a lot of these cases. Because let's not kid ourselves. The, the, the characters in this plot, uh, in this show, are... Um, What's it called? They are, um, they're witches, and they're witches that eat children, because consuming children's souls is good for them. Like, that is a thing that is baked into the plot of this, you know, of this movie, from the get, from the get-go. Now, you can't get around that for this, but they make an attempt to, and kind of try to put that, like, it's still referenced, and it's still mentioned, but it's like, at the end of the day, their, their goal is not to stay, like, we can extrapolate their goal is to stay out to eat children, but the goal as presented is just to not get trapped again, like they did last time, which is not a bad idea for a goal, but it's like, let's keep in mind who these people are. It's kind of like when we watched Boba Fett, um, in, uh, what's it called, in, in Book of Boba Fett, and it's like, okay, so he is now the head of an organized crime um, syndicate, like, he has taken over Jabba's operations, and Jabba was a spice runner, and, and all of that, and he dismantles all of the criminal enterprise aspects of it, so it's like, okay, so he stopped being a bounty hunter to run this criminal organization, great, but why, why would he do that if, if he's just going to, you know, like, it doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't, like, why, like, because they can't have the villain be the bad guy, because he's being portrayed as a protagonist. Um, so it's kind of an interesting situation, um, that they find themselves in. Now, be that as it may, and then there was another one, too, I was thinking of, like, the Thunderbolt show is another example of this, I think, where the Thunderbolt show, you also have this, um, this vil like, the, uh, like, the Thunderbolt is supposed to be a bunch of villains, like, that is what the Thunderbolts are. And the problem is, because they're headlining a major Marvel movie, they're not using a good amount of villains. The only villains in the thing, and villains is being used loosely, they're antagonistic forces from their movies, 
our Taskmaster and um, what's her name? Taskmaster and uh, um, fuck, I'm, I'm blanking. Uh, Ghost, and neither of which are, are outright villains. They are people who are used and, and are in unfortunate situations. So, like, that's another thing that actively harms this movie is the fact that you can't let the people who are out and out villains actually be villains. Um, which that's hard. And it's got some ridiculous product placement. Like, they're in Walgreens for a good amount of the movie, and I'm just like, and I say good amount of the movie, I mean more like a not unsubstantial amount of time in the movie. Um, between 10 and 15 minutes are just them fucking around in a Walgreens, and then they leave the Walgreens with like two Roombas, and I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. They went to a drugstore and picked up two Roombas. Um, what else was there? Um, there, there are two parody musical numbers, so if you're into that, then great. I mean, I, I would say that, like, the Blondie and Elton John, you know, covers are there for the parents, but I think at this point, if you're a parent watching this movie with your young kid, even Blondie is a reference that's, like, too far back for, for, for a parent watching it now. Maybe a grandparent and the kid, but, like, I, I don't think a parent now... Because, like, I'm, I'm 28... And, like, if I had kids and I was watching this with my kid, then, like, I, like, I'm not, I, I don't know, how, how do I phrase it? I'm not someone who listens to a lot of modern pop music. Like, I listen to a lot of older, like, my musical taste kind of ends in, like, 97. Um, there's some more modern stuff, but by and large, it's all older stuff. And, like, I'm like, all right, right on, Blondie cover. Like, I get what you're going for, but the thing is, it's like, I don't think that that speaks to the masses. I, I understand that I'm strange in that regard, but I, I and, and the same goes for the Elton John, where it's like, all right, that's the, the bitch is back, but with witch instead of bitch, and it's like, all right, cool. So, I, I don't know who that's for exactly, but I don't think, again, we're, we're exactly at a point where we have a, a audience that is, you know, by and large going for that. Um, I don't know, I, I didn't find the movie very entertaining, um, the flashback, more or less, is kind of pointless, because the flashback really only serves to explain, um, like, the origin of the spell in the book to make them all powerful witches, and then also there to kind of explain, like, no, but it's not even really fully addressed to the fucking, like, love triangle aspect of it that's not as important, and it's like, alright, whatever. And then because this is a spoiler cast, like, the fuck with the fucking, um, what's going for here? The, uh, um, like, at the end, like, the whole relationship with, uh, the sisters is not really well laid out, and then Bette Midler at the end, uh, is, is heartbroken that her sisters are gone, because the spell requires you to give up something you love, and it's like, there's nothing about anything in this movie that indicates that there's sisterly affection besides the flashback. It feels more like Bugsy and, um, what's it called? Uh, or Muggsy and, um, and Rocky from the, from the fucking Bugs Bunny cartoon, more than anything. Um, Focus Focus 2, not great. Not worth the time to watch. If you have anything else to watch this weekend, watch that instead. I regret watching this because I have the entirety of another show to watch through before, uh, so I can get a review of it done. Um, which you'll find out what that is next week when the review embargo lifts. Um, I don't think I'm even allowed to say what show it is, but I have to watch the entire thing, um, the whole fucking run, so, yeah, it, it will be, we'll be talking about that next week, um, and it'll be included in our weekly recaps, um, so, until then, have a great rest of your week.